The Eternal Mirage by Thomas Ligotti Read by Jeff Clark Illusions struggle with illusions, and in the expansive silence of that landscape nothing is settled or certain, not accepting the image of infinity presented by the stars and blackness that seem to spread immensely above. For below, one may vow, extends another blackness, an endless ebony plateau whose surface is like polished stone. There the sky would appear to have thrown down stars, setting them within the shining darkness of the lower world so that it might contemplate from afar these glittering relics, scintillating castoffs from its ancient treasure, the brilliant debris of its dreams. Thus, both above and below one may see the flickering of these luminous motes, quivering bodies held captive in the unbroken web of blackness, and the abysmal web itself seems to tremble, for nothing there is at peace or secure in its nature. Even the emptiness that separates the starlight from its reflection upon the great glassy plain is an imitation void. For, having made the level land its mirror, the sky has gazed too long and too deeply, reaching into itself and embracing its own visions, saturating the distance between the thing and its simulacrum. All space is virtual, the infinite is illusory. There, in that landscape, a dimension has died annihilating depth and leaving behind only a lustrous image which seems to float far and wide upon the infinite surface of a black ocean. And it is said that this ocean is itself merely a starry phantasm glimpsed in certain eyes, eyes that may be seen as one wanders the streets of strange cities, eyes that are like two stars shining deep in a black mirror.